who is the founder for Wahhabism? Ibn Taymiyyah. Assalamu alaikum rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. I want to burst two lies of this Sufi shrine worshipper. The first lie he said that, that all people of Tawhid and Sunnah are Wahhabis. It's wrong. We never call ourselves Wahhabi. We call ourselves Muslim, Momin. Alhamdulillah. All messengers were Muslim. All Sahaba, Sahabiyah, Pahle Bayt were Muslims and Momin. So we call ourselves Muslim and Momin. Apart from that, all companions of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Sahaba Ikram is one of Allah Ta'ala's main, call themselves Ahlul Sunnah, Ahlul Hadith. So we call ourselves Ahlul Sunnah, Ahlul Hadith and also Salafi. That means on the footsteps of Aslaf, our righteous predecessors, that is all messengers, including the final messenger Muhammad Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and all companions of Rasulullah, all Sahaba is one Allah Ta'ala's main of Rasulullah. Hence, we are not Wahhabis, we are Muslim, Mumin, Ahlul Sunnah, Ahlul Hadith and Salafis. Wahhabi title given to us by the Britishers, your forefathers. Your forefathers. The forefathers of Sufis and Ravzis and shrine worshippers and amulets and thread worshippers. We never took that title for ourselves. Our founder is only and only Muhammad Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The second lie, this shrine worshipper have said that that uh, the founder of his jamaat is Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was the founder of Sufism Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam naudhu billah summa naudhu billah the sallallahu have commanded to break those graves which were built which were built he commanded Ali Rasulullah to break it and you people worship the graves by making big shrines on it so who do that? The Sulaasa said, just two, three days before he leave this world, what he said? He said, wow, curse be on Jews and the Christians who took the graves of their messengers as places of worship. So you people are from Jews and Christians. The founders of Sufism, Jews and Christians, not Muhammad Sulaasa Alhamdulillah. Muhammad Sulaasa broke the shrines and you worship the shrines. Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that those who wear the amulets and threads committing shirk, you people wear the amulets and threads, walking on the footsteps of Jews, Christians and Majusis and Hindus and Mushriks. So your founders are Jews and Christians and Majusis, not Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam have said that those who innovate in religion go to hellfire. Kullu bidadin zalala, kullu zalala din finnar. Those who do bring new things in religion go to hellfire. You people brought so many eats in the religion, so many new practices, going to shrines, wearing amulets, threads, worshipping on the shrines, uh, sacrificing on the shrines, doing duas on the shrines. Tens of new things in the religion you people have brought. Eid Meladun Nabi, this and that. Hence, you people are innovators on the footsteps of Jews and Christians going straight to hell. So, if you want to call yourself a Muhammadi like us, a Muhammadi like us, then stop shirk and bidah, come towards Tawheed and Sunnah. Till you don't do that, and till you worship shrines, amulet, threats, babas, nange baba, ullesha, tillesha, and worse kind of names, then till then you are on the footsteps of Jews and Christians and not on the footsteps of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. People who are the custodians of uh, Harman and Sharifan, Alhamdulillah, us. People who established Tawhid and Sunnah on the big land, swiping out shirk and bida, Alhamdulillah, us. They are the people who call themselves as Muhammadi, Muslim, Mumin, Alul Hadith, Alul Sunnah, Salafi. And Alhamdulillah, we can probably say that the people of Tawhid and Sunnah follow the founder that is Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Alhamdulillah.